Hey there. Today we're diving into a story that's as intriguing as it is perplexing. It's about the completionist, and the psychology behind why the completionist stole money from his open hand charity. The completionist, known for his dedication to completing every game he plays, didn't just stumble upon success. It was a journey, filled with countless hours of gameplay, endless nights of editing, and a relentless passion for sharing his love for games. But what drove him to this point? Was it the thrill of the game, the satisfaction of completion, or the desire to build a community around his passion? Let's delve into the psychology behind his rise to fame. From his first upload, the completionist showed a unique blend of determination and charisma. His commitment to completing games resonated with gamers worldwide, creating a loyal fan base that appreciated his thoroughness and authenticity. But it wasn't just about completing games. The completionist understood his audience. He knew that they didn't just want walkthroughs, they wanted to experience the journey with him. And that's exactly what he gave them. A shared experience, filled with triumphs, failures, and a whole lot of fun. In the end, the completionist's rise to fame wasn't just about gaming, it was about community, passion, and the relentless pursuit of completion. Psychologists suggest that completionists may be driven by a sense of achievement and satisfaction that comes from completing tasks. It's not just about playing the game, it's about mastering it. And in a way, isn't that what we all strive for in our favorite RPGs? But there's more to it. The completionist personality type often exhibits high levels of perseverance, attention to detail, and a strong sense of commitment. These are traits that can be seen in many aspects of life, not just gaming. Consider leaving a like if you are enjoying the video so far. Now, let's relate this to mental health. Gaming, for many of us, is a form of escape, a way to challenge ourselves and engage with fantastic worlds. But it's also a space where we can learn about ourselves, our strengths, our weaknesses, and how we handle challenges. Girard Khalil, also known as the completionist on the internet, has recently come under scrutiny for his alleged involvement in fraud. The Open Hand Foundation, a charity founded by the completionist and his family, was the subject of a joint investigation by Carl Jobst and Mutahar from Some Ordinary Gamers. Both Jobst and Mutahar claimed that the completionist's Open Hand Foundation withheld over $600,000 in donations throughout their investigations. The funds were raised for dementia research, mostly through the completionist's well-known Indie Land Charity channel. Charities are built on goodwill and generosity, but unfortunately, they can also become targets for those with less noble intentions. Let's start by understanding why someone might resort to such actions. Psychologists suggest that these individuals may be driven by a range of factors, from desperation and need to greed and a lack of empathy. Some may rationalize their actions, believing that the ends justify the means. Desperation can be influenced by external pressures and social factors. For example, the fear of failure or societal expectations can push someone to take desperate measures. Additionally, a lack of support or resources can contribute to feelings of desperation. In the case of the completionist and the allegations surrounding the open hand charity, Understanding the psychology behind his actions requires examining the potential factors that led to his desperate behavior. This could include exploring his personal motivations, pressures within the entertainment industry, and the potential impact of his actions on his reputation and career. By delving into the psychology behind desperation and its effects on behavior, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities behind controversial situations like this and the factors that drive individuals to make questionable choices. Desperation is a state of despair, typically one which results in rash or extreme behavior. But what drives a person to this point? Let's explore. Psychologists suggest that desperation can stem from a variety of factors from personal loss and financial hardship to mental health struggles. It's a universal experience, yet uniquely personal in how it affects our actions and decisions. Need is an intrinsic and fundamental aspect of the human condition, deeply rooted in our biological and psychological makeup. It represents our inherent drive to fulfill essential requirements for survival and well-being. However, it is imperative to delve into the intricate nuances that delineate need from greed, as the line between these two powerful forces can often become blurred and subjective. 
Psychologists posit that need is primarily driven by our primal instinct for self-preservation and the fulfillment of basic physiological, safety, and belonging needs. These fundamental requirements encompass vital aspects such as food, water, shelter, security, and social connection. In contrast, greed arises from a different psychological realm, being fueled by the insatiable desire for power, material possessions, and social status. It is often characterized by a relentless pursuit of accumulation and dominance, driven by a sense of entitlement and a perceived lack of limits. However, the boundary between need and greed is not always clear-cut. In certain circumstances, the pursuit of need may transform into an excessive craving for more, leading to a gradual shift towards greed. This transformation can occur due to various factors, such as societal pressures, cultural influences, personal beliefs, and individual circumstances. The blurring of this line can result in individuals prioritizing their own desires over the well-being of others, leading to a distortion of values and an erosion of empathy. By critically examining the intricate interplay between need and greed, we gain valuable insights into the complexities of human behavior and the factors that drive our motivations. It prompts us to question our own desires and aspirations, fostering a deeper understanding of the impact that our choices and actions have on others and the broader society. Empathy is a fundamental human trait that plays a crucial role in our ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It allows us to connect with people on a deeper level and build meaningful relationships. However, it is important to explore the consequences when this essential trait is missing. Psychologists have identified several factors that can contribute to a lack of empathy. One possible cause is certain personality disorders, which can hinder an individual's ability to relate to others and comprehend their emotions. Additionally, environmental influences can also play a role in shaping one's level of empathy. For example, Growing up in an environment with limited exposure to diverse perspectives and experiences may hinder the development of empathy. Understanding the impact of a lack of empathy is crucial in promoting a more compassionate society. It is essential to recognize that empathy is not just a personal trait, but also a skill that can be nurtured and cultivated. By fostering empathy in ourselves and others, we can strive towards a more empathetic and understanding world. Empathy is not a static quality, it can be developed and strengthened through practice and conscious effort. Engaging in activities that promote perspective taking, active listening, and emotional awareness can help enhance our empathetic abilities. In addition to the individual level, fostering empathy at a societal level is equally important. This can be achieved through education and awareness campaigns that highlight the importance of empathy and teach empathy building skills. By promoting empathy in schools, workplaces, and communities, we can create a more inclusive and compassionate society. Furthermore, it is essential to address any underlying issues that may contribute to a lack of empathy. For individuals with personality disorders, seeking professional help and therapy can be beneficial in improving their ability to empathize with others. Additionally, creating a supportive and understanding environment can also contribute to the development of empathy. In conclusion, empathy is a fundamental human trait that is essential for building connections and understanding others. While a lack of empathy can stem from various factors, it is important to recognize that empathy can be learned and nurtured. By promoting empathy at both the individual and societal level, we can create a more empathetic and compassionate world. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the darker corners of human psychology. Remember, understanding is the first step to prevention. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into fascinating topics. Until next time, this is Vizkla, signing off.